Alright hello guys, how's it going? In today's video we're going to be talking about when to expect your first freeze. We've made a lot of videos like this and you guys just eat it up so I'm so excited to present this one to you guys. Now before I get into the video, be sure to destroy the like button and leave a comment down below because those two things help me out so much and also be sure to subscribe for more weather related content. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, are you enjoying the hot summer weather still this late into August, or would you prefer to go towards a colder pattern, even much colder than what is even possible in the month of August? Would you rather go back to the freezing weather right now? Would you trade it for this heat, or would you like to just stick around with the warm weather a little bit longer? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into things, and first things first, we're getting started with our first layer here. We're just going to be doing this just like the when to expect your first snowfall video. Uh, also, we just released our second winter forecast. You can check that one out. Uh, I'm going to put a thing up on the top right. You can check that one out, but also be sure to check out when to expect your first snowfall as well, because all of these videos are very, very related, obviously. Our first layer here, we're starting with like the top-down method here. We're starting with late August, so by the time we're ta taking a look at later this month, these areas could be taking a look at their first freeze. It's important to note that I am just one human being working with a medium-moderate resolution map here. So there is some valleys in there that I just can't really pinpoint. So I had somebody comment on the first snowfall one from California, and they're like, I live in a valley right next to the mountains, and we haven't seen snow in like... You know, it, he's, I think it was something along the lines of like two snowfalls in the past 10 years. And they were kind of like, why are you showing us in the expecting snow uh, layer? And it's because they're so close to the mountain, I can't pinpoint that. Because again, I'm only one human. So there will be errors like that if your elevation is very abrupt and very local. Uh, but as far as large scale mountain ranges, obviously, like we're pinpointing the Rockies here, we're able to do that. But there is going to be a little bit of some inaccuracies just because I'm Again, one person. So by late August, we should expect to see our first freeze in these white regions. Now by early September, and by early September, I mean basically before the 15th in September, this pink region should be expecting to see their first freeze by that point. So we're talking areas like the mountains of California, the mountains of Oregon, a lot of Idaho there, Nevada, uh, we see Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, a little bit of northern Minnesota there, and even northern Maine. So we get the eastern and central United States included here by the time we're taking a look at the earlier portion of September. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and move on towards our late September layer, then eventually our early October, late October, early November, and November 15th or later layers. Now here is our layer for late September, and as you can see, by the time we're taking a look at the 15th of September and beyond, towards the end of September, we get a lot more widespread with this first freeze. We can see states fully engulfed here like Wyoming, almost Colorado, uh, Idaho is fully engulfed, Montana, North Dakota there as well. Uh, we see a lot of regions here. Even states like New Mexico, Arizona, Washington, Nebraska included now. A lot of Michigan, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, even a lot more of Maine now as well, all included in this first freeze expected by late September, which again is the 15th towards the end of September. Now here is our early October layer. So this basically the beginning of October to the 15th of October, obviously. This lighter blue region expects to see their first freeze by this point. Again, getting a lot more widespread here. We're seeing areas like Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, all included here. Basically, the entire states of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine are now engulfed by this by the time we're taking a look at the earlier half of October. We see a lot of Massachusetts included now as well. So many, many states are included in this early October region. Let's go ahead and add that late October region, and as you can see, now states like Texas are included, Oklahoma, Arkansas, even the northern Gulf states here, so Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, even South Carolina, they're included as well. We see states like Tennessee, Kentucky fully uh, engulfed here as well, so that's the 15th of October towards the end of October. So now most of the United States has seen their first freeze, obviously, by late October. You can see all those shades there, very beautiful map, obviously. 
here, not to toot my own horn, but I do love this map. Uh, this is, again, we've, we've gone over these averages many, many, I think maybe this is the third year we've done these average uh, maps, and it's just really fun always to kind of take a look at when to expect things to happen. Again, this is based on averages, so this is not a forecast at all. Things could happen earlier than average or later than average, but it should be close to your average, at least moderately close to your average. So it is a good thing to know, obviously. Now this next kind of dark green layer here is our early November first freeze area. And this, we're, we're at like 90% of the United States now. You can see this reaches a lot of the Northwest coast. We see most of Texas included here. Now all of Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, almost all of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Uh, and we even see this touches the panhandle of Florida. Don't ask me why those areas get so much colder than the surrounding Gulf Coast, but for some reason, that area right there on the Florida panhandle, they get their first freeze a little bit earlier. They, they have a little bit of a higher chance of seeing snowfall than the surrounding regions as well. If anybody has any answers for why this is, let me know in the comments down below, but it seems like this area, their averages are just a little bit more inflated than surrounding regions. We look up the East Coast here now, South Carolina almost fully uh, covered here now by by this point in North Carolina is and Virginia is as well by early November so that's again before November 15th and then finally this light kind of mint green area is our November 15th or later so this could be December or even January for some of these areas and if you're outside of this on average you really do not see a freeze it, it does happen from time to time so I'm not saying it's impossible but on average you just don't really see a freeze So in Southern California there Southern Texas a little bit of southeastern Louisiana, and then the southern two-thirds of Florida as well. Do not expect to see a freeze at any point. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to remind you guys of our fall temperature forecast and our winter temperature forecast so we could see if it could be a little bit earlier or later than normal. Now, here is our fall temperature forecast, and we expect above-average temperatures there for the southwest and the east coast there so in the fall time if your average first freeze happens let's say september you might be taking a look at a couple i would say five or ten days later maybe even more just based on the fact that you have above average temperatures set up here's the below average temperatures though so for these regions it could be a little bit earlier than normal as some colder air pours in so this is mostly for the central united states uh, in the northwest now as we move on to our winter forecast you can see it's actually very similar it's just a little bit shifted and that's because Fall is right next to winter, so usually you see a pretty similar pattern that has just evolved a bit, and that is the case here. That's what my forecast is going for. Southwest, above normal temperatures there. Uh, so if you expect to see your first freeze in, let's say, December, uh, which some regions do in here, uh, it could happen a little bit later or not happen at all. It's hard to say. Now, for these areas... And the colder than normal conditions, which you can see is just fully shifted further east by the time we're taking a look at the winter months. That is intentional there. That is just how we see the, the fall and winter months progressing. These areas, if you do expect to see your first freeze in December, it could be a little bit earlier for a lot of these eastern United States. And we saw some of those for, again, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida. These areas sometimes see their first freeze as late as December or even early January. It could be a little bit earlier if you live in these regions because of the expected below average temperatures. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I always enjoy these. I still have a few of these left over that we're going to do a little bit later in the month, like our first fall foliage, when to expect your first frost. Uh, so we do have a few other videos uh, that are very exciting. I think we're going to do when to expect your first fall foliage and when to expect the peak fall foliage. So there's a few cool videos that you guys usually really enjoy coming up. Be on the lookout for those. As always, be sure to subscribe for those future videos, obviously. For today's confidence tab, we are at a six out of six because this isn't even a forecast. This is just going based off of your averages. So obviously we're very confident it will be pretty close to your average. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, do you think you're gonna have, we're going to have an above average hurricane season or a below average hurricane season at this point? And James Moore said, I believe we will have an active rest of August, September, and October, but I still believe this will be a slightly below average hurricane season. And the reason that James thinks that is likely because it's just been so slow as of late and every single day, we don't see a tropical storm or hurricane develop, the more and more the odds go up of us having a below average hurricane season. And by August 8th, it has been a long time since we've seen a tropical storm or hurricane, considering the time of year. 
We will watch and see. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Benbenek, James Wade, Dovey Nigel, Lord of the Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Gary, John Colisi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Crenenthal. If you would like to be a part of this patron entry of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms One and Cat Bite as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.